If I don't do stand-up for like two weeks, I get really depressed. They'll be like, what's wrong with me? Like, oh, I haven't spewed hate on an audience, or I haven't taken my belly out in front of other people. I haven't made a shit joke to a room full of strangers, and that's why I don't feel good. It's, um, I really like it here. I feel like you guys are like exemplary white people. Like this is where, this is where white people were invented. It's like, we have white people in America, but like they have sex with their cousins in trailers. <laughs> you guys are like the good kind. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's cool. Like uh, you guys have legalized weed and prostitution and I'm from Los Angeles, so we have weed, but we call it medicine. <laughs> we have prostitution, but we call it show business. <laughs> I don't know why, like, Americans, they come here and we're all like, oh my God, there's like sex shows and you can go and people are doing it. And blah, blah, that's crazy. But it's not that crazy, right? Like, it's just sex, it's just sex. It's so natural, right? What could be more natural than a man and a woman together with a midget. <laughs> and the woman's doing a cartwheel and there's a candle and the midget lights the candle in her vagina. <laughs> it's just special. <laughs> oh, I'm so full. I, uh, I've been eating my way through this week. I love the food here. I had, uh, I had a cheese platter today and then I had a four hot dog day today. Yeah, I ate fucking, I ate four hot dogs, five hot dogs. I had five hot dogs. One fell on the ground, and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna eat it. I don't care. I gotta sit it down. I'm so fucking full. Why, when you're eating a hot dog, does everybody want to tell you what's inside of them, right? They'll be like, Christina, you know what's in your hot dog? dogs because I run marathons. I eat hot dogs because I hate myself. Right? Because you don't see athletes eating hot dogs. Like, you know, you, you don't see that. What's that guy who rides the bicycles and he's got one bean bag? What's his? Yeah, Louis Armstrong. You don't see that guy advertising Oscar Mayer. It doesn't so full. Like, they're all, they're all fucking right here. They're just... They're all fighting to get out. And there's only one way out, and it's not ready yet. It's not ready. I'm just, I can feel. Look how fucking tight my pants are today. Look how the zipper is just fighting to stay on. Look at it. Let's just fucking... fucking thing. <laughs> oh yeah, the McRib is back. <laughs> I like when there's a nice sweat ring right up top too. <laughs> too bad there are no black guys in here. They love this shit. This is... Fuck it, I don't care. It's not, it's never gonna be perfect. It's never gonna, I'm never gonna be 20 again. Like, you know, and you know what? Um, I'm 35 years old and I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you bought the cow, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell you what happened. I, um, I took the birth control pill this year. You guys taking the pill? You guys look like a couple of sluts. You're on the pill, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know the pill, the pill's got all those hormones in it that make you fat, right? All the hormones. Either that or the fact that I wrapped those pills in bacon. I'm not sure what. It's great. I. Uh, no, here's how I knew I, I didn't care anymore. This year, this year, I decided that I own a pair of going out sweatpants. 
Yeah, you know the pair. Look, you love it. Yeah, the, the velour kind, the name brand kind. I'm like, yeah, man, these are nice. I could wear these out somewhere fancy. I could wear these to Cracker Barrel or Applebee's. But I'm, a, I'm not a pig, I'm a lady, you know what I mean? And I like to dress up my sweats by wearing a little matching zip-up hoodie. <laughs> and my sister-in-law, she's one of these fashion people, right? Like, she's one of these label people, so she'll always be like, oh my God, Christina, are you wearing a Puma top with an Adidas bottom? <laughs> I'll be on no bitch, that's Target on Target. What? <laughs> there is a name for people like that, right? Label people. Like, don't they call them like fash, fashionese, or cunt, I believe is what they call them. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Well, actually, I got fat this year because it's my husband's fault, you know, like, uh, it is, when you get married, that's what happens, you get fat. And plus, I married a big guy, like husky, just healthy. Not so fat that he beats you in a wet t-shirt contest, that's gross. <laughs> My husband's just fat enough that when he rolls over in bed at night, I get to hear the sweet sound of <clears throat> mm, Sweet sound of sleep apnea, I love it. But here's why I love fat guys. Like, fat guys are the best, right? Especially if you're lazy like me. If you're lazy, because a fat guy is not gonna call you and ask you to do things like hiking or rollerblading. Like, no, let's hike on down to Cinnabon and just get a baker's dozen of those bitches, right? And eat the middles out with like a two liter of Mountain Dew. Let's do that. Um, yeah, I'm married, and uh, when you get married, nobody tells you what it's like. And I'm gonna tell you something that they don't tell you, all right? Is that when you marry somebody, you learn disgusting things about that other person. Like really, just horrendous shit that nobody should ever know about another human being. And I learned that my husband's hand spends an inordinate amount of time on his crotch. <laughs> yeah, and not the standard dude fucking ka -ka -ka -ka, whatever that is, whatever that guy's doing on the table. Not like that. <laughs> but my husband does like an advanced move. I'll show you. It's the uh, pinching and twisting. <laughs> Rolling and manipulating. <laughs> pinching and twisting. Rolling. I'm like, man, what do you got, a fucking Rubik's Cube down there? <laughs> right? Yeah. At least whittle me a bird or something while you're down there. <laughs> and he's like, oh, babe. Oh, it's just so itchy down there. <laughs> right. It's just so itchy. I'm like, yeah, that sounds like a job for soap and water. <laughs> Problem solved. Because women, we can't do that, right? You can't just, no! I do, but you shouldn't. You can't. You can't just fucking mix Master Mike, your cooch, in public. Like... No. You gotta do some, like, funky interpretive dance move. You gotta... I got a Tai Chi in the park, like an old Chinese guy. And... I got a downward dog in yoga pose. <laughs> Kickball change. And I got it. But no, I don't mean to just make fun of the men, all right? I'm not some hateful female comic that hates guys. I don't hate guys. I fucking hate everybody. I hate everybody. Because really, when you think about it, aren't we all just pathetic? blobs of human flesh, just pathetic meat globules looking for five minutes of happiness rubbing up against each other in the dark before we fuck off and die on this shit planet. <laughs> but I love my husband. <laughs> I do, he's rad. Every night, every night, he comes and he tucks me into bed 
And then he uh, goes and gets high and plays PlayStation till four in the morning. Yeah. But before that, he tucks me in and he kisses my little forehead and then he gently caresses my cheek. And then I go, have you been touching your balls? 